welcome guys i hope you're doing good i hope you're doing great it's a new week new energy new vibe but you know right here on the show we'll give you trending stories making the world of entertainment if you're a malian you have to sit for this one because your president has been trending and also i've been hearing some juice about some celebrity being arrested by police officers for assaulting a police officer so you have to stay put for all of this but you know later on the show we'll give you the celebrity man crush of the week as well as the eagle's eye segment on that note i welcome you to entertainment timeout right here on iron tv with your girl your cream de la cream shell avenue <laughs> guys if you're joining us this is entertainment timeout on our new segment today let's check out naira mali who reacted after school children were arrested for behaving like him nigerian rapper and singer naira mali has reacted following the arrest of some school children by the amotekun indigenous security network for behaving like him in a now viral video a lady who is supposedly a teacher in the school describes the boys as criminals and also disclosed that they were apprehended in a bush while exhibiting Malian attitudes. Reacting to this development, Naira Mali expressed his desire to meet with the kids and further described their arrest as child abuse. Speaking further, he also said that the teachers and security men wielding guns need to be arrested as soon as possible. Naira Mali wrote, and I quote, Guys, look what's happening in stupid Nigeria. How can you arrest school kids? This is child abuse. The teachers and these stupid uncles with guns need to be arrested. I want to meet all these kids. I owe them. Please help me with the name of the school or link me up with any of the Malian kids. Thanks. I want to see the witch behind the camera. What is Amotekun self? If they treat your child like this, what would you do? Did you see the slap? You calling someone's child criminal? Or more, I'm so angry. Give me the school name, please. I need to go there. This is a really tricky situation because I feel like children actually copy what they see. This is why parents should actually be mindful of what they expose their children to. But also, I feel like it's not a thing that children below 18 are arrested by law enforcement agents as well. I don't know, but I feel like they should actually look into this because this is what is happening right now. Moving on to news number two, we have American singer Trey Songz, who was arrested by the police because he was allegedly assaulting a police officer. The ugly incident took place on Sunday, January 24, 2021, at the Arrowhead Stadium during a National Football League game. TMZ reports that Trey and a police officer got into a physical altercation. According to the witnesses, it was the policeman who was apparently in the wrong. It all started after when Trey was being heckled by some fans a few rows behind him and he asked them to chill out. The witness said the officer approached Trey and without warning went after him. The witness also said Trey was totally caught off guard when the officer got physical and started to defend himself. Trey was arrested for trespassing, resisting arrest, and assaulting a police officer, in addition to being placed on a 24-hour hold with the possibility of being released tomorrow night. I've said it before and I'll say it again. This is me pleading to our law enforcement agencies not to take laws into their hands and also to our lovely celebrities out there. We love you, but please do not abuse the law. You are public figures and you have so many people looking up to you. So guys, let's take a short break now and when I come back, we'll be unveiling our celebrity man crush of the week. So do not go anywhere because I'll be right back. <laughs> Powerful looks command respect, they say. The perfect body. The perfect grooming. And ultimately, the perfect skin. Looks, style, and grooming makes the ultimate man. found a ridiculously easy way to make my skin always feel epic. My name is Neo, I found Blemiviv and now my skin finally makes sense. Guys, if you're 
you're just joining us this is entertainment time out right here on iban tv now to the segment we all love the celebrity man crush of the week it's time for the big review this one is actually special because it was picked by one of you in the comment section i think at this point i should change my accent yeah he's an actor a pasta yes you know already it is majid michelle majid michelle is a ghanaian pastor and an award-winning actor he received nominations for the best actor in a leading role at the african movie academy awards and eventually won the award in 2012 after three previous consecutive nominations Michelle was born on 22nd September 1980 in Cantonment, a suburb of the Ghanaian capital Accra. The son of a Lebanese father and a Ghanaian mother, he grew up in Accra with nine siblings. Michelle entered professional acting by auditioning for a modeling agency. He was invited to join the modeling agency Supermodel Agency on the behest of his next door neighbor. He starred in the television series Things We Do For Love acquiring his nickname Shaker on the set. Michelle made his Nigerian Nollywood debut in the 2009 romantic drama Emerald, playing a lead role alongside Genevieve Unanji. While Majid's performance was commended along with his strong on-screen chemistry with Unanji, the film received largely mixed to negative reviews. Majid Michelle is married and has three children. On 19th November 2015, he revealed that his wife of 10 years was responsible for his success and he references only God before her. He renewed his marriage vows in the same year. Majid is a born-again Christian. On 4th October 2016, he was a guest minister at a local church where he shared the word and performed deliverance on people. Speaking to Joy FM in Ghana, Majid described his new spiritual life as genuine and inspired from his understanding from the Bible. According to Forbes, Majid Michel's net worth is $23 million after featuring in over a hundred movies. You know, I love Majid Michel, but I actually have a strong beef with him. Growing up, I used to love his romantic movies, the romantic roles he used to play in movies, only for me to grow up and discover that he's now a pastor. Like, why would you do this to me, Majid? But either ways, we we'll love you, Majid, and we we'll celebrate with you. Moving on to the Eagle's Eye segment, we'll be considering top nine artists who are from wealthy backgrounds in no particular order. On our number nine, we have DJ Kays. He is the son of Deinde Fernandez, a Nigerian billionaire, business magnate, and diplomat, a pan African leader, and permanent representative of the Central African Republic to the United Nations. On number 8, we have B-Red. The singer is the son of politician Ademola Adeleke, a senator who recently contested the Oshun State Governorship election. B-Red is also a cousin of Nigerian top singer David Doe. On our number 7, we have Lynx. The musician's father, John Edozian, is the chairman of a number of Nigerian companies, including Jenkins Consort Nigeria Limited and Mercedes-Benz Automobile Services Limited. He's also the Chancellor of the Federal University of Agriculture, Abiokuta. On our number six, we have DJ Exclusive. The popular DJ whose real name is Alakija Rotimi is a nephew of Nigeria's richest woman, Madame Folorisho Alakija. She's also one of the top oil block owners in Nigeria. On our number five, we have Nato C. The rapper is the son of Dr. Mrs. Kema Chikwe and Chief Herbert Chikwe. His mother, Dr. Kema, was the former Nigerian ambassador to Ireland and also a former minister of aviation. On number four, we have LAX. Singer LAX is the son of a billionaire and industrialist Taiwa Falabi, the founder of SIFAX Group, a company that deals in oil and gas. The musician often shows off his wealth on his official Instagram page. On number three, we have Fouls. The Nigerian rapper is the son of a popular senior advocate of Nigeria, Femi Folano. Fouls is both an actor and a singer, and he delivers his role perfectly to the admiration of his fans and followers. On number two, we have DJ Copy. The gelato crooner is the daughter of our mogul Femi Otedola. Copy started her career as a DJ but is now releasing her own songs. Her song Gelato talks about the wilder life that she lives and how she would travel over the world just to have that ice cream. On number one, we have David Doe. He is the son of a renowned business mogul and billionaire Adedeji Adeleke. The father of three broke into the music industry through his popular song Dami Duro and has grown to become one of the biggest singers in the country. 
The assurance crooner lets everyone who cares to listen know that he comes from a wealthy family. So there you go guys, the countdown. I know some of us have been wanting to be like this artist, but we don't know this part of their story. So this is it. Some of them are actually from wealthy backgrounds. We've come to the end of another beautiful episode of Entertainment Timeout. Do not forget you can always communicate with us about today's episode and your crushes on our comment section. This is Entertainment Timeout on Iron TV. I am Michelle Abanum and thanks for watching.